Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plaxis uh, 2D. This is tutorial number 13. In this uh, example, uh, we are going to simulate a tired cantilever retaining wall uh, using Plaxis uh, 2D. So, uh, as we know, uh, tired cantilever uh, retaining walls are uh, multi structures used to uh, stabilize and retain the sloped ground uh, and are constructed when uh, there is a difference in uh, elevation, as you can see in uh, this uh, figure. So, in uh, such conditions, if we uh, consider uh, construct constructing one uh, single cantilever retaining wall for example in here maybe we will face a stability uh, problem and also it will not be uh, economical or it will be impractical in general so uh, the purpose of uh, this example is to simulate uh, these uh, types uh, these types of retaining walls and uh, we will estimate uh, the safety factor of uh, this problem and also we will examine the lateral earth pressure behind the retaining wall so uh, this is uh, going to be our uh, soil uh, stratigraphy we uh, have a three layered soil we have a very dense uh, sand uh, at bottom layer and also uh, we have a dense sand and this sloped ground is a clay uh, soil and uh, the boundary conditions uh, uh, the boundary uh, dimensions as you can see in x direction it is uh, 65 as maximum and in y, uh, in y direction we have maximum of uh, 34 uh, this we assume uh, this is the original point uh, or original coordinate which is 0 by 0 and as you can see we have to uh, slope in here and we will build one retaining wall in here cantilever retaining wall and we will uh, do the backfilling and uh, after uh, that we will after we backfill uh, uh, behind this retaining wall we will construct the upper retaining wall also and we will uh, do backfilling for uh, this uh, retaining wall as well uh, as you can see in here uh, we will uh, draw this uh, ground soil layers uh, above the original point so uh, right now we will uh, define uh, some boreholes to draw this uh, soil ground so uh, this is a total displacement in or deformed shape in uh, safety analysis we can say uh, the big or the big def uh, the biggest deformation uh, in safety analysis happened in uh, the lower uh, cantilever retaining wall and uh, this uh, um, these uh, values doesn't have any physical meaning in safety analysis so for example if I click on deformation and total displacement we can see uh, this is a failure uh, surface uh, or the critical failure uh, surface in this example we can see in here uh, this is a safe and uh, the most critical failure uh, surface happens in uh, the lower retaining wall so uh, for example if I want to uh, increase the for example as uh, I mentioned before uh, this is a safety factor which is 1.414 if I want to increase uh, this safety factor we can uh, for example uh, do some changes in the lower retaining wall for example we can add uh, a shear key at bottom of the retaining wall and run the analysis again we will see the factor of safety will uh, get increased uh, 